Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Um, I got a little bit of a cheer in my step today uh, compared to last night's video, uh, the late one that I posted where I was uh, visibly freaking out. Um, let me go ahead and say I had to apologize for that, but I, you know, I feel like I can talk to people by doing my video content, even if nobody watches it. Um, it still gives me an outlet to do it because I'm afraid to talk to people about this kind of stuff in person. Um, but yeah, I, I always tell you, I'm not going to off myself. Um, I'm not going to check out early unless it's organically happens, like walking outside and get hit by a Boeing 77 for some reason. Um, I don't want to put that pain on anybody else. Um, I've, I'm living it every day. Um, and suicide sucks. So let me go ahead and preface this. If you have um, issues with mental health problems like depression, you feel like harming yourself, please go get help. Uh, don't be like me. Um, talk to people. And don't bottle it up. I'm not good at following my own advice, but that's what I'm going to tell you. Um, but we're not going to talk about that right now. We're actually going to talk about something different, something that I have a really good passion in, something you could probably tell. Like, like why does this motherfucker have a Christmas tree up? I'm just lazy, just lazy. Plus, it's cool. It's got a Mario star on it, and I mean that's I can't take it down. I can't take it, even though the mushrooms are gone. They're all gone. Um, <laughs> so, who we're talking about today? We're talking about Dreamcast guy. Uh, I've been following him for a few years. I like the guy. I think he's pretty cool. Like, um, he's quirky, um, <laughs> a little cringy at sometimes. Uh, he over exaggerates things when he's talking about sources and um, first-hand information. You know, I can't really say if it's true or not, um, you know, but he does. He's visibly very biased to one specific culture of gaming. And what am I talking about? So back in the day, and this is, there's becoming a resurgence of cringe. Back in the day, I used to be a part of this little group called the System Wars. Uh, I joined a lot of uh, forums back in the day. I don't know if they still have forums, uh, but GameSpot had a specific forum called System Wars, and it's basically where everybody gets on a, uh, you know, talk about how much their console is bigger than you. Basically, it's like, well, this billion dollar company is better than that billion dollar company, and they're basically just sucking each other's dicks the whole time and throwing shit at each other. Um, it was a it was a wild place. It was a wild place. Uh, the Xbox people hated the PlayStation people. The PlayStation people hated everybody. And Nintendo was just doing Nintendo things. But the PC guys, the PC Master Race guys, they come in and were like, "Ha ha, peasants." Um, but yeah, yeah. So we're going to talk about Dreamcast guy for a moment. So I'm going to bring up a tweet here, Mister uh, Dreamcast guy here. Um, <laughs> this is funny, um, really funny. So, Hellblade 2 just came out. Now, I haven't played it yet, haven't installed. Uh, I love the first one. I've been very excited about the new one. Um, gives me something to actually play on my Xbox. That uh, should be pretty good. And, you know, from what I can tell, it's got some pretty good reviews. And, you know, if this came out on PlayStation or you know, it's on PC too, uh, I would have played it on any system. Uh, Dreamcast guy, lately, like, he's been showing his bias towards, you know, his PlayStation. He loves PlayStation. He can be a Sony pony all he wants. But right here, he's basically wanting a, a game to fell a studio, which, as we know, Microsoft does drop studios as of late, which sucks. But wishing a studio, like a game they put their heart and soul into, let's just say that, I'm going to say Hellblade was a uh, well-crafted heart uh, love letter to gaming, something they really wanted to create. I've been following the studio for a long time. Uh, they talk about how much they love doing this, and I really appreciate that. No matter what happens at the end of the game, it still sucks, you know. It sucks, um, but I would like to give games uh, you know, a fair chance, right? Now, back in the day, Dreamcast guy actually praised um, the first Hellblade, and it was multi-platform. I think it came out on PlayStation first, and um, basically, the game's not really... It's, it's an interactive movie. 
Um, anything you play from PlayStation, um, and I'm going to say it now, like anything you play on PlayStation are the big first party games. You're more watching it than you are playing it. You get, you know, you get a little bit of content where you're fighting or shooting somebody, then the rest of it's like some kind of movie. And it's, it's always, it's all the same. It's all the same. Every game that comes out on a PlayStation exclusive, that's what it seems like. But I enjoy these games, right? I love storied games. I love to watch the uh, art form just grow, and I like to see what comes out of it. But the budgets are getting massive, and we're getting less and less. And all these studios are moving to games of a ser as a service, and it's terrible. And I don't want these games to go away. But you know, watching Dreamcast guy basically uh, lambasting Xbox because nobody wants to play Hellblade, um, that doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't make sense to me at all. Like. This is probably from the same guy, and I don't know for sure. I'm going to assume that he probably thought Last of Us Part Two was a masterpiece, and it wasn't. It was a good game, but it wasn't a masterpiece. You just watched the game. You watched the movie. You watched the shitty cutscenes the whole time. There was no gameplay, hardly any. Like, it's you stop for a moment, you walk in slow motion for a moment, follow somebody, uh, exposition, exposition, you can put that same framework on most of Sony's exclusives. Now, in the past, I have a bias towards Xbox. I do love my Xbox. I primarily play on my Xbox. Uh, but upstairs, you know, I have all the systems. I have the Switch. I have the Wii U. I have the PS5, the Xbox Series X. I have the PlayStation 3. I have all the mini consoles uh, that came out, the classic collections like the PlayStation Mini. I got a PS2 up there, huge PS2 collection. My game library on my PC um, is massive. My Switch library is massive. I'm a guy that loves video games in the purest, the purest form. I love and appreciate the art, rather it's from a big studio or from an indie person or somebody that's in the basement of their mom's house and they decided to try to make a little game. I like to try games out. I like to see what's out there because video games, um, it's an art form and, and it's something that I really love. You know, I can get home, grab my controller, start playing Call of Duty or something, which I don't really play Call of Duty except for once a year when the single player comes out. But, you know, I get to relax, and it's for me, that's a de-stressor de for my mental health. But I don't like the whole atmosphere now where <laughs> System Wars is coming back, and you have some 30-year-old dudes it's like, hey, hey, my that $1 billion company has <laughs> better games and better consoles than you, you dumb bitch. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty stupid. It's pretty stupid. My argument is Dreamcast guys, like, why would you, why would you celebrate something like that? You talk about how much you love video games, but here you are lambasting a studio that has a video game that just came out, but clearly they put a lot into it, and you're wanting it to fail. And I understand you don't like Xbox. You just say it. Just fucking say it, dude. Don't be, don't be a fucking coward. Just say it. You don't like the Xbox. You don't like Microsoft. And let me go ahead and say this. Microsoft does some shitty stuff, but Sony does some shitty stuff. Nintendo does some shitty stuff. All these console manufacturers and publishers, they all do shitty things. Um, but just singling out Xbox is honestly stupid. It's really dumb. It doesn't make sense. Not at all. Not at all. My, my only thing is, did Xbox touch you in the past, like, inappropriately? Did they just touch you inappropriately in the past? Did Papa Microsoft, like, get his Duke controller and just rubbed on your nipples or something like that the wrong way? And all of a sudden, you're like, oh, I hate the Xbox. I love Sony, though. I love Sony. I love Sony. I love Sony. I, love Sony. I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Dreamcast guy, you're pretty disingenuous. <laughs> I can't even talk because I uh, stutter. I'll give your audience something to talk about. Say, hey, who's this fat motherfucker uh, calling you out, uh, stuttering all over the place with mental health issues out the wazoo? I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. I love video games. If you look at my body, my fat body, you see all these tattoos. They're all video game related. Most of them. I, I, you know, I got Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. But they're all video games. I love video games. I, I, I was born 
to play video games. And I know that's sad to some people. Some people say video games are not content, but I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I Like I said, I, I love a good story and video games is an interactive medium that allows me to be a part of that. That's why I love first person shooters with like a no name protagonist, like that doesn't talk. That, that's, that's fun to me. But yeah, Dreamcast guy, you, you do this a lot. You do this a lot, man. Like, pick a side. You already know what side you're on. You're not the side of gaming. You're the side of sucking PlayStation's dick. Like, really? That's what you're doing. That's literally what you're doing. And don't tell me your insiders told you the penis tastes that good over at Sony. Because it probably doesn't. Unless you want this slow, <laughs> methodical... Limp penis with a little bit of gameplay in there. I mean, I, I guess that's the only thing I can think of. And we just compared PlayStation to penises on this channel. <sighs> Lovely. This is going to get it demonetized. If not, Dreamcast guys going, oh, this guy talking bad about me. I can't take any type of criticism because I'm a little bitch. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, dude. I, I, I love your content. I used to love your content. I, I followed you for a long time. Um, but so this is the point where I'm going to have to sit down. It's like, man, you're not really a real gamer if you're trying to take down, you know, put down other studios just because you like the other team. If you're a gamer, you're going to like all the teams. You're, want, you're going to be focusing on video games as the art form, not the last of us two. <laughs> Nobody likes The Last of Us 2. I'm sorry. It's terrible. But Dreamcast guy, do better. Please. Please. Just do better, man. I know you got it in you. Just, just take it out of your mouth and profess how much you love video games. Or just keep it in your mouth and just say, hey, or or Sony. I love Sony. Everybody knows it anyways. I mean, you probably see it in your comment section on Twitter. I mean... There's, there's no shame of it, but, I mean, if that's the side you're choosing and you want to relive the 2005 system wars where all the blood was spilled over nothing, which there was, I don't think there was any blood spilled. Maybe, maybe. We have to look into history of that. Did somebody during the system war times, like, shoot somebody or stab somebody because they like that one bill, that billion dollar company better than the other? Well, we can, we can call Microsoft a trillion dollar company. Um but either way, none of these companies care about you. They don't really give a fuck what you say because they're going to release bullshit anyways. Um, doesn't matter what you say. Doesn't matter what you say. Uh, we have a shift now going to live services. So you're going to see less and less of games like Hellblade. I don't want games like Hellblade to fail. Um, Microsoft did a big no-no. Got rid of Tango Gameworks. And I loved Hi-Fi Rush. That was a big no-no. That's that's a big mark on Xbox. But PlayStation does some stupid shit too. A lot of stupid shit. They've been very anti-consumer this generation. Same way they did with the PlayStation 2. They did really great. PlayStation 3 came out. Hey, $600 for this console. And we're going to have a cell processor that nobody can actually work on. And we're going to produce shitty games, have bad ports. But... They actually came on top after they fixed their strategy, but they're going back to their old strategy where, you know, people are spending a lot more time on PlayStation. But just play the fucking games. Play the games, enjoy the games, and stop choosing sides. Just enjoy video games. Just fucking do it, man. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.